Hey there everyone, my name is Alex and today you find me in Switzerland and I'm going to be learning about goats. You know, I've never really thought much about goats throughout my life and when I have it's normally been to do with cheese or milk. But this is a different kind of goat keeping. About a year ago I received an invite from an Instagram follower to go walking goats in the mountains of Switzerland. So whilst on my travels around Europe I thought I'd stop by and see what it was all about. I'm Helen, we are in Switzerland, uh, close to Bern, and these are my goats. Helen and her partner Eduardo live in this beautiful house in a small village, and whilst Helen spends most of her time working with goats, Eduardo has a Peruvian food truck that he takes into the city. Whilst I was here, I was lucky enough to try some of his food, and it tasted amazing. Mmm, that is so good. That was the best food. I have had goats for I think almost 20 years and it used to be my hobby but now I, it's kind of my business also. I'm also doing education for goat keepers so people who have goats as a hobby not for meat or milk. Um, I do courses and I share knowledge about how to have goats, how to keep goats as your pet, as your friend. So if I wanted to have a goat and I wanted to learn how to keep goats, you would be the person to talk to. Yes, because a goat as a pet has different needs than a goat for milking. Hey there. How's it going? <laughs> I don't know if I like that or not. It's a little bit intimidating. Wow. Uh, as long as you don't think I'm a goat as well and do that to me, that would be painful, wouldn't it? So apparently they like being scratched like around the, the horns. Is it feeding time? They mostly eat grass and hay. I'm giving them some supplements here and I've trained them to be nice when I'm giving the food because they get a bit crazy. So it turns out they're a bit like chickens. There's a, there's a pecking order. The biggest one goes first with eating. It goes down to the smallest one. I wonder when I'm going to get my food. This is Volo, but the problem of Volo is maybe you have seen he doesn't walk really normal. That's because one day he broke his leg and uh, he had a surgery. And now his leg got stiff so he can walk, but he cannot bend the, the knee anymore. And also when he lays down, he lays only like this, he cannot bend the knee. Yeah, but he's fine apart from this, but that's the reason why I cannot take him on walks because he's just not good with his legs. Then this is Chico. Chico. Chico, in Spanish, uh, little boy. Chico is not so little anymore. <laughs> Chico's huge, huge goat. And he is a, a peacock goat. For me, that's the most beautiful goats that exist because they always have this kind of color, this pattern. Chico is, is a good goat. He's my best working goat. He carries a, a backpack and a carriage. He's very good, but he is, he's a strong character. <laughs> you always have to, have to show him his boundaries and he can be a bit... I always say he's, he's like a little bulldozer. If he can, he just rams you over and stuff like this. So you always have to tell him, no, my space, your space. And then he's a very good goat, a very, very sweet and nice goat. And he's also a little baby. I, I bottle fed him um, from, from he was, since he was a baby. And that's why he's a very, uh, like a baby of mama. When I go away, he, he's like, mama. And yeah, he's the biggest one, but in, in the heart, maybe the most baby one I have. Bantz is the oldest one I have. And he's a 
copper neck goat from the valleys also because of, you can see the long hair is typical of the valley goats and Bans I bought when he was already adult I bought him from another from a lady who had goats like this who bred this kind of goats and he is a very sweet goat too he's very social but he is um, also a very stressed goat and I always have to calm him down <laughs> he's uh, how do you say? opposite of fat he's skinny he's very skinny and I think that's because he has been with a lot of parasites um, where he was bred, they had a big <laughs> Where he's coming from, they had a big problem with the, with the parasites and I kind of don't get him in really good conditions anymore. That's, that's, that's the problem with the parasites. They can really damage the goats. That's why you have to take them seriously. Pants. Pantsy. Elvis is called Elvis because of his hair. <laughs> And Elvis is kind of the brother of Chico. I bought the two of them together and I bottle fed the two of them together. He's not a brother, he's another breed, he comes from another place, but he has the same age. And then we have Kira. He's the same breed as Elvis. He's like a mini Elvis. And Kira is from Adelboden, from a friend of mine who breeds this kind of goats there. He is the brother of Jumanji and yeah, he's also, he's a very funny goat. He always has funny ideas. One and a half years old. Really? Yeah. Wow, quite young. Yeah, they are young. And then this one here, he's a slow eater. This is Jumanji. He's the brother of Kiro, half brother actually. And he's a typical black neck goat from Valis. You sometimes get them as a little um, a souvenir. When you go to Valis, you will find these kind of goats. As a souvenir, you can take them. Yeah. And he's typical of this race. And he's also from Adelboden, from my friend. So there we go. We've met the, the gang of goats. The gang? That's not the right word. What's a group of oh, goats yeah. called? When I first came into the, the sort of area where the goats are, I was like, oh, lots of goats, they all look kind of the same. But actually, just after like an hour or two of walking around and getting to know them, they're all very individual. They all have their own sort of character. They're all goats, but they're not all the same. That's what I'd be doing today. Sleeping under the trailer. What a life. Meanwhile, it's fun being surrounded by these animals. At first I was a little bit nervous because they're how big. Well, this one isn't actually too big. This one up here is big. <laughs> I'm getting used to you funny animals. And I never thought I would be in the middle of Switzerland surrounded by goats. Look at that, that is a proper beard. I'm trying to use the manure from the goats as a compost, use this for the garden and in the garden growing herbs and of course vegetable for us, but also herbs and plants for the goats to keep them healthy. And yeah, it's kind of a, of a cycle. My aim is that the goats are not just taking, but also giving. I want to show you the, the carrots because I'm very jealous of their carrot patch. There's so many. They're ready for the apocalypse, that's for sure. It's a very beautiful area where lots is going on. There's obviously the plants here um, and the vegetables that feed the people who live in the house. There's also some chickens up there. Um, and then got the goats living here and the goats compost manure is over there. And then that goes in the garden and makes the carrots grow big and all the other vegetables grow nice and big. Now I'm really excited for today because not only am I going to hopefully learn a lot more about these interesting animals, but um, we're also going to take the goats for a walk in the mountains. Hiking in the mountains is probably my favorite thing to do ever, but this time we're gonna do it with the goats. So I'm really interested to see how we transport them and how we take goats for a walk. I just can't get over it, there's a goat behind me.
Time to get the goats into the car. I actually started now to produce halter for goats. Really? You, yes. make, you make these? Yes. I can show you um, above the manufacturer I have now. It's got a proper production line. This is the leash. The leash you can have in the same color. And this little bell we also have. Oh, that's so nice. That's quite practical if you are on walks with your goats, you always hear where they are. You don't lose them. You don't lose them. And also if they are in the stable, I like if they wear a little bell because there are wolves. The wolf is more and more a problem. Also here, we didn't have wolves here in a long, long, long time, but now they're coming back. So I would hear if something is disturbing them. Yeah, it just makes me feel a bit safer about them. Chica! The goats are on the lead. Yeah, you all want to go on an adventure. Oh, I'm brushing a goat. <laughs> Do I look really out of place? <laughs> Doesn't look like I've done this before. There you go, go. Do you like? Do they like it? Do you think? I mean, they must like it. Yes, they like it. I would like it if someone just did this on my back. Yeah. More double brushing. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no. No! <laughs> they love flowers! Just devouring a flower bed. Oh, yeah, that's good, isn't it? <laughs> kind of makes me want to eat some. It looks really comfortable in there. The goat mobile. Oh, have a good ride, guys. Enjoy it. got some snacks for the hike and we are now going to the mountain. We were just talking about how food always makes things better. <laughs> like if you're ever in a bad mood, go to a shop, buy some food and then bam, instant happiness. Instant. As a person from Switzerland, do the mountains get boring? No. <laughs> Never. Actually, when I was a kid, I didn't like the mountains. Really? No. I didn't like them at all. I, I love them since I have goats. It's just a different perspective and I always feel so free and so... I don't know, you just kind of start glowing when you go up to the moon. Yeah, yeah. We have arrived. The goats are gonna carry our food for us in this Letting them loose. Yes. Helen is constantly being stopped by people. I guess it must be really interesting if you're a passerby and you see this person walking goats. It's not the normal thing that you see. This is great fun to watch. The people walking past are now having photos with the goats. That's one way to draw attention to yourself. Goats are a herd animal. They have a very strong herding instinct. So for them, the herd means um, being safe. And being alone for them is dangerous. So they will always try to stay with the herd. And um, since we are their herd, they are just following us. 
You know, this is why I drove 1,000 miles in my van to come and walk some goats in the mountains. And we're here. They are like dogs, they follow you, they give you companionship. Goats are very loyal and they uh, don't have a hunting instinct like dogs, so you don't have to be concerned that they are running away to purchase a, a deer or something. If you are with them, it's just everything is more fun. I would have thought after walking for like half an hour from the car through the hills that there would be nothing, but actually there's a, a coffee place or somewhere to get food and we can stop and relax. Whilst we're having our coffee, are they behaving? Yeah. Mmm, off we go again. Just had a nice coffee, it made me feel alive again. And just check out the backdrop, look at this. So where are we going? Up there? Is that the aim? Almost! So you definitely should train your goats. You cannot do this with every goat. And you have to, yeah, have to train them to get used to, to dogs, to people, to um, cars and stuff. Back at the goat yard, Helen showed me some of the things that she trains them and explained the importance of the goats getting used to regular handling as it makes keeping them as pets so much easier. When we were walking the goats yesterday, it looked very effortless but I guess there's been a lot of time gone into that so that the goats are very easy to work with and are calm. One thing of the training is the basic handling of the goats and then the next level is if you want to go for hikes or if you just want to do something with your goats, yeah, go out and be able to lead them like a dog. You have to train this too because goats would naturally follow you but not on a leash <laughs> and probably not come back if you call them. So this is all things you have to train. But actually goats are extremely clever. Really, they, are, they learn so much quicker than every horse I've ever worked with. So you can just train for like 10 minutes and the next day they know what you, they know it. And then you can maybe not train for half a year and it's still there. It's crazy, they're really extremely clever. I cannot say to every goat, go back and it will go back they would probably say, uh, what? <laughs> they don't understand. So he does this because he learned it. Then there are things like that I, I want them to be able to, that I can hold the horns or hold his head and he would not do anything. Super tiny. But the problem is all goats like to do that and they probably would do it on you, like standing up on you. So you have to train them to do it without help. <laughs> oh wow, I didn't know he could do this. So it turns out another thing you can do with goats is have them pull you along on a little cart. So do you often go to the shops with the goats? I sometimes do. And then I take my groceries on the cart. Whoa, I'm being pulled along by a goat. Thanks for the lift. Sun is setting, it's so beautiful. <laughs> this is so relaxing. Yeah, you deserve that. You gave me a really good ride. It's raining. Yes. Oh, the light on the mountain. It's 
I was 15 years old and I wanted to have a dog <laughs> and I told my parents I want to have a dog and they don't like dogs so they said no 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 dog for you and then one day I changed my mind and said so then I want to have a goat and as we had a farm they said okay okay you can have a goat because they probably thought yeah a goat we have a cow so a goat more or less will not be a problem and then yeah I went and bought my uh, my first goat but actually my two three first goats and there the story started and the love for goats What a day, learning about goats, walking in the mountains, something I didn't really expect to ever do. I love these sorts of moments where you end up in a situation where you just never expected to happen. Look at this, it couldn't be more Swiss in the mountain. <laughs> Eating cheese. Rifle chips. <laughs> <laughs>